welcome to another Excel chat walkthrough video. I'm your host, Kevin Kelly. Today, we're going to talk about how to link cells within Excel from different workbooks. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So we want to automatically update data in another sheet in Excel. Uh, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. We're going to talk about the two easiest ways and then maybe another way if you're looking at a conditional formatting scenario where you know you want a value to be in another workbook if it meets a certain criteria. So first, we're going to talk about the easy way of doing this. So uh, let's say we have this cell A1 in sheet one and then cell A1 in sheet two. And the easiest way to go about doing this is let's say, uh, you know, we have just the number 50 in this cell A1 in sheet one. We can go over to cell A1 in sheet two, just say equals control page up. That's how I get to the other workbook. And then just hit equals A1 from sheet one, enter. And now in sheet two, it just will automatically equal the value in A1 of sheet one. So let's change this to 100 in sheet one. Now go to sheet two. And you can see it's changed to 100. So that'll automatically update if you just set the cell equal to the other one. Another way you can do this uh, is if we just delete this right here, we can go to sheet one and say, okay, uh, this value is 100. We're going to copy, so control C and then go to sheet two and then control paste. But actually we're gonna right click here and do a special one and it's gonna hit, see, it's gonna say paste link. So I'm gonna hit paste link. And now that's the same thing as hitting equals to A1 in sheet one. So if I go back over here and let's say I change this to 500, it'll change to 500 in the other sheet. So simple enough, um, it can get a little more complicated. So let's say for example, you know, um, in sheet two, cell A1, we're gonna put this logical test in. So we're gonna put equals if, and then the logical test is gonna be equals if control page up, sheet one, we can say greater than 200, for example. If that is the case, now it's asking what, what value do we want to use? How do we want to demonstrate the value if it's true? You know, what, what do we do if it's true? Well, if it's true, all I want is for it to be the value that's within A1. And if it's false, just a blank cell. So we put two quotation marks. Now we close that parentheses, hit enter. And since we had a value of 500 in A1 sheet one, it'll show over here in A1 sheet two. Now let's say I change it down to 150, which is less than 200. Let's see if it shows. And in sheet two, A1, it does not show because according to our logical test right here, it is less than 150 is less than 200, so it should not show up. So there's a couple of different ways you can play around with this um, super interesting formula, you know, combining conditional formatting um, and conditional if statement with um, automatically updating data cells in different sheets. Uh, but overall, simple, easy tutorial. Um, if you want more information on this topic, go to the Excel chat website. It's got a whole article about it. Um, as always, thank you for viewing this video and we hope to see you next time. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel chat.